Hello, everybody. Uh, today, I'm joined by Joe Creed, who's our group president for energy and transportation. You may recall Joe actually on the other side of the camera doing this role a couple of years ago when he was interim CFO. Joe, welcome to Beyond the Numbers. Yeah, thanks, Andrew. It's exciting to be on the other side of the interview here. That's good. Joe, uh, ESG is playing a big role uh, in some of the things you're doing strategically uh, within energy and transportation. Uh, obviously, the recent acquisition of SPM uh, with the EFRAC trailer, uh, but we've also had an interesting little acquisition uh, that we completed recently around carbon point solutions. Perhaps you can tell us a little bit more about that. Yeah, thanks. It's it's an exciting uh, smaller acquisition that we made, and as as you say, Andrew, you know, over the last especially six to eight months, customers have really been focused on ESG issues and how we can support them to help them lower their carbon intensity. So Carbon Point Solutions is a small uh, acquisition. It's headquartered in Rhode Island. Uh, it's a carbon capture patented technology uh, that really differs from other carbon capture technology that's been around for a long time. So uh, carbon capture technology is more widespread on a large scale standpoint and in this particular technology is um, tailored to less than 25 megawatt solutions and distributed generation so if you think about solar turbines you think about our caterpillar uh, equipment portfolio uh, carbon point solutions really fits in nicely with us so this is for more small applications does it fit into any other of the other segments or division we'll see and the first place we'll be deployed is with solar and and our power Gensets in oil and gas in particular with the carbon that's captured and it's compressed and it's either used so enhanced oil recovery so customers will inject it back into the well uh, to help them with oil recovery or as I mentioned all the pipelines for CO2 uh, a lot of our our engines are running close to that that infrastructure so we can get it uh, moved out through that pipeline infrastructure. Yeah, and so, I mean, this obviously helps the customer meet their ESG goals, which obviously are becoming more important for them as they look forward. Like I said, every little bit helps. Uh, and the, the neat thing about this technology as well is it can, it we will be uh, going out with, you know, new new projects that we bid, but it can also be retrofitted to uh, engines uh, in gas compression, oil and gas, power generation that are in the field as well. So uh, we think it'll be, you know, a, a nice addition to our portfolio and really help our customers. Yeah. And I mean, obviously what you see within energy and transportation is a number of, uh, of, of small acquisitions or things we're trying to do to help customers on their ESG journey. Um, I think uh, obviously uh, this has become something which has become increasingly important for them as well, isn't it? It sure is. And and no two customers are the same. And, you know, supporting our machine uh, teams and, and divisions as well as our external customers. Uh, you know, we're going to have all kinds of different technologies we're going to have to invest in. And um, this is one of them that helps through the transition. Um, obviously, battery electric, hydrogen, you've seen some announcements we've made. Um, so we're, we're pretty excited. Um, the energy transition, you know, presents a lot of opportunities for us to support our customers and, and you know, these smaller acquisitions to add to the portfolio really just enhance our ability to do that. Uh, it's all part of the way I think, uh, you know, Caterpillar and particularly you guys in energy and transportation are trying to work very closely with your customers to actually get them ready for to, to achieve their sustainability goals, which are becoming obviously a high level of focus everywhere around the world. Yeah, absolutely. We're going to have to do this with our customers um, and, and we'll be there to support them. And um, like I said, they all they all have a little bit different challenge, but uh, we have a great portfolio of technology and great people. Um, and so so we'll take this journey with them. Great, Joe. Thank you very much. Really appreciate your time today and uh, best of luck on this journey and helping our customers meet their goals. Thanks. Happy to be here.